there we have it. Object-oriented programming and functional programming. They are both paradigms. And a programming paradigm is, well, writing code compliant with a specific set of rules. For example, organizing the code into units would be called object-oriented programming. Avoiding side effects and writing pure functions would be called functional programming. In object-oriented programming, an object is a box containing information and operations that are supposed to refer to the same concept. We're grouping it as an object. These pieces of information inside of the object are called attributes or state. And the operations that can happen on this state are known as methods. In functional programming, the code is essentially a combination of functions. And data is immutable, which leads to writing programs with no side effects and pure functions. Because in a function, in a functional programming paradigm, that function cannot change the outside world. And the output value of a function simply depends on the given arguments. This allows functional programming to really have control over a program flow. Now, over the last couple of sections, we learned about these two paradigms, and we even coded some examples with it. So what did we learn? We learned that functional programming is based on different concepts, right? We have higher order functions, pure functions, Referential transparency in functional programming. Functions are first class citizens. In object oriented programming, objects are first class citizens. And we learned about the pillars of each of these paradigms. In object oriented programming, we had abstraction, we had encapsulation, where it allows us to encapsulate ideas that are related together in objects. It helped us hide irrelevant data from the user, we learned about inheritance, and then we learned about polymorphism. In functional programming, we learned that it's all about the idea of pure functions and composing functions to act upon that data. Now, object-oriented programming has been around for a long time, since the 70s, and functional programming as well, if not even earlier. Object-oriented programming is very common in languages like c -sharp, Python, Java. And then functional programming is very common in languages like Clojure and Haskell. But at the end of the day, there's no one better than the other. All of them are good in their own ways. They're simply different approaches to the same problem. How do we write clear, easy to extend, easy to maintain, efficient, dry code? In a functional style, functions manipulate data structures like trees and arrays and objects. And things like composition are used a lot more than loops and iterations and if-else statements that are more procedural. Now, although some languages prefer one over the other in terms of programming paradigms, languages like JavaScript allow you to do both which in my opinion is extremely wonderful because you can pick the solution to your own problem. Although the language that you use does have an effect on which type of paradigm you write, even pure functions like Haskell, well, you can write procedural code in. You can write object-oriented style in procedural languages like C. The thing is, that the benefits are in the application of these ideas. To be clear, the advantage of each paradigm is simply in the modeling of your algorithm and data structures. The choice of which you use is simply what makes more sense for your project and the language that you're using.